Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about the things that people are going through during Hurricane Milton and how people are dying to try to save something that really has no value. The only value that it has, that it gives, is comfort. But this stuff, guys, is all temporary. It's all temporary, guys. That's why I always make my videos saying, do not worship money. Do not worship this stuff. It's all temporary. Your houses, your how all this stuff, the jewelry, everything is temporary. Your, your your pets, your loved ones, life in general, it's all temporary. Let's watch the video. Um, I apologize. I apologize. This, is this is just just horrific. horrific. Morales, Morales has, has guided, guided South, South Florida, Florida through, through some of the some state's, state's strongest, strongest ever hurricanes, hurricanes including, including Andrew, Andrew Irma, Matthew, Matthew, and Matthew, and Maria. And Maria. He, later he later posted, posted on, social on social media, quote, quote extreme, extreme weather, weather driven, driven by, by global, global warming, warming has, has changed, changed me. me. Frankly, Frankly, you should, you should be, shaken be shaken too and demand, and demand climate, climate action, action now. now. Well, Florida's, well, Florida's Gulf Coast, Coast is bracing for yet another. And again, there's nothing that you can do about climate change. The climate on this earth has have been changing from the beginning and since the formation of the earth. For billions of years, the climate has changed. The Sahara Desert used to be an ocean and North America used to be covered in a sheet of ice. Things will change, guys. There's nothing you can do. Just live your life. Try to be as conscious as possible. It don't matter. Everything here is temporary, guys. Every single person on this earth will be dead in 100 years. And this 8 billion people on there are 8 billion people on this earth. And all 8 billion will be dead in less than 100 years, which is a twinkling of an eye. Geologically compared to how old Earth is. Let's continue. A major, a major hurricane, hurricane. But, it's but it's not just, just any, storm. any storm. It's the it's strongest, the strongest storm, storm the world has, has seen so far, so far this year. year. Hurricane, hurricane Milton, Milton has, has weakened, weakened slightly, slightly to a category four strength. strength. But, the but the storm's explosion, explosion in size, in size and, and intensity has been, has been staggering, staggering. Jumping, jumping from a category, from category one, one all the way to category, to category five, five in just, in just 24, 24 hours. hours weakened to a category three but that's little comfort for a state still reeling from hurricane helene less than two weeks ago officials are warning milton's impact will be catastrophic they're urging everyone in the storm's path to leave as soon as they can and many have taken that message to heart florida's highways have been packed since early if this is an evacuation both of the highways should be northbound they should be open northbound. Nobody should be going southbound. Monday, the mayor of Tampa issued a stark warning to those daring to stay behind. Helene was a wake-up call. Uh, this is literally catastrophic. And I can say without any dramatization whatsoever, if you choose to stay in one of those evacuation areas, you're going to die. If this takes a jog to the south, that's going to save us from the storm surge, but it stays on the track that it's projected to be on right now, or if it goes a bit north, would be even worse. So this is something that I have never seen in my life, and I can tell you that anyone who was born and raised in the Tampa Bay area has never seen anything like this before. People need to get out. Cheryl Hubbard has more on the urgent preparations being made as the hurricane approaches. In a routine that's become all too familiar, Florida residents are preparing, some by filling sandbags, some evacuating, all doing the best they can to prepare for yet another life-threatening storm. FEMA with a firm warning to those with evacuation orders. They need to get out. 
some heeding the message. Florida highways were crammed Monday with what state officials expect could be the largest evacuation since 2017's Hurricane Irma. Milton threatened storm surge, rain, and flash flooding. But due to Hurricane Helene's devastation, there's another threat, the potential for flying debris. We still have significant amount of debris cleanup to do across the barrier islands to make sure that um, that doesn't become projectiles in this coming hurricane. Florida's governor has deployed the National Guard to help assist with debris removal that could cause more damage from Milton's forecasted winds, which got up to 180 miles per hour Monday. The storm is projected to weaken and make landfall as a Category 3 near the Tampa area on Wednesday, packing 120 mile per hour winds. It's dangerous I and I won't could come ashore anywhere from Cedar Key in the north to Naples in the south. If they have called for your evacuation order, I beg you, I implore you to evacuate. Drowning deaths due to storm surge are 100% preventable if you leave. I'm Sherelle Hubbard reporting. Elliot Jacobson is a club. See, guys, so these are the same people that will not stop smoking cigarettes, will not stop having unprotected sex, will not clean up their mind and their life. They're trying to save something that is temporary. And it's not even yours. It belongs to the earth. It belongs to the earth. The sea will take over once again. All these people claim they believe in the Bible. And they saw what the great flood did in Noah's days. So they keep playing and tempting and screwing around with nature. That's why the insurance rates are so high in Florida. Because you got these clowns down here that that insist on staying down here in the path of, the, of destruction. In the path of destruction. And they're trying to save something they've worked their whole life for. That's why you don't work your whole life for this stuff. Because it can be wiped away in one day. Something that you worked 30 years for. It can be wiped away in an hour. Think about the equation. It don't add up, guys. Let's continue. Climate analyst and retired professor of math and computer science. He joins me now from Santa Barbara in California. Appreciate you being with us. Well, thanks for having me. So Hurricane Milton is barreling toward the Florida coast right now. It's one of the top 10 strongest hurricanes ever recorded. The planet's strongest storm this year, now a Category 5. And Milton comes on the heels of the deadly force of Hurricane Helene. Brazil's Amazon region is experiencing its worst drought in 122 years. And we're seeing extreme flooding in Western Central Africa. So how much of all this can be directly linked to climate change? So there are attribution studies that can try and link any given event to climate change, but we don't want to just go around uh, pointing fingers at events and saying that's climate change, that's climate change. See? What we know is that yeah. climate change is going to make all of these events happen more often. They'll be more intense when they happen and they'll last longer. And that's what we see over and over. We see more of these extreme events happening. And that is the fingerprint of climate change. So how should we be responding to this new normal created, uh, for the most part, by climate change? What do we need to be doing right now? So it's a good question, especially your use of the uh, phrase, the new normal. So what we need to understand is we're just passing through this moment. We don't have any idea of what a new normal will be right. or where we're headed. You, it has sir. a lot to do with the sorts of decisions that are made right now, both locally, globally, and in every sort of political environment. <laughs> so things will get a lot worse than they are now. They will continue to get... It has nothing to do with politics, guys. There was no politics during the days of Noah. There, were, there was no politics. Whether you believe that story or not, so things have happened on this planet that are unexplainable. Catastrophic and global events have happened. Asteroids have hit this planet. Meteorites have hit this planet. Dinosaurs have lived on this planet. So for us to think that we can explain, predict, anticipate, 
pontificate the ongoings of this plan is idiotic. Let's continue. To get worse for at least the next 30 to 50 years, pretty much no matter what we do. We have to be thinking of a See? future for our children and grandchildren right now with the decisions See? we make. So I just want to say that the new normal, unfortunately, is still a long way off. So how should nations rebuild after these extreme weather disasters? And also, how should they be building for the future to adjust to the new conditions question. created and being created by climate change? You don't have an answer to that. Well, one thing to understand is that scientists really do have a good idea of certain parts of the planet that are going to become sort of inhospitable to civilization and these include certain coastal regions that are going to flood certain regions that are simply going to get too hot uh, to sustain human life and uh, certain places that are expected um, to have massive droughts or massive flooding so what we need to do is trust the scientists who are identifying these regions and understand that migration is going to be taking place on a global scale and we have to understand that climate migration will be part of our future and that allowing our fellow humans to find another home is part of our responsibility. So I think that's the number one thing we need to do is understand that the climate is being degraded globally and everybody deserves a home. And we do see this, don't we, because in flood zones, in areas that are not really habitable anymore, people do just keep rebuilding and trying to live see? there. At what point see? and what is the you process of saying this is no longer a habitable region? People need to find an alternative. What is that process? Well, I think, unfortunately, that humans are very stubborn about this. And we often hear the phrase, well, we're going to rebuild. And you just look at, for example, what's happening in Tampa. They just had a, a record-breaking seven-foot, well, if you like, two-meter um, storm surge, right? That was the all-time record set just 10 days ago. And now we're expecting, with uh, this new hurricane, double that to come into the same region. I mean, what's happening is that we're not going to be able to keep up with the ever-intensifying storms no. in these regions no. so when you ask about what should we, what should we do to rebuild it's not clear at all that we're going to be able to stay ahead of these storms uh, or the rising sea level or the heat or all of these places is simply not going to be possible exactly. to um, sort and and I mean if you even look at what happened in North Carolina right one of the climate havens was Asheville. This was uh, an area that was touted as a safe place to move if you were um, had climate consciousness and now that was uh, that was essentially uh, decimated See? so See, I think it. we need to understand just hold, how hold, fragile hold, 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 hold. This let me repeat what he said he just said that Asheville North Carolina was touted as one of the places to move if you was conscious it was a safe haven see mother nature did not care about your political climatic predictions doesn't care. Storms go where they want to go. Tornadoes do what they want to do. Earthquakes hit what they want to hit. It's going to happen, guys. Don't worship this earth. Don't worship this stuff on this earth. Just, just, just live here. Do the best that you can. And just let it be, guys. Because in 50, 70 years, you're not going to even be here. So why the freak are you, why, why are you going crazy about this stuff? Just do the best you can right now. And that's it. You cannot worry about future generations. That is, that's crazy. Like if we want to worry about the future generations, we need to stop smoking. That's how you worry about future generations. Control the things that you have control of. All the pharmaceutical drugs, all the smoking, the, 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 the food supply being poisoned with herbicides and pesticides. Yeah, worry, worry about spilling oil in the Gulf. Worry about that kind of stuff. See, worry about stuff that you have control over. You don't have control over nature. You really don't. Even, 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 even cloud seeding, whatever, whatever, CERN, whatever the government is doing, you have no control over that. When it's time for Mount St. Helens to erupt again, it's going to happen, guys. There are like a hundred volcanoes in damn Utah. 
when it, when it happens, it happens. There's nothing you can do about it. Okay, guys, let's continue. This planet is right now, and that that fragility is just going to be increasing. And in the midst of the hurricane crisis in Florida, far right Georgia Congresswoman. The 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 the, the planet the the, the 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 planet is not fragile. We are fragile. The planet is good. We are a big ball just floating in outer space, guys. We're like we. I mean, come on now. We we take this stuff too serious. Like no, no, we are like little ants. We're like little ants. Like like, like the, the galaxies don't even know that we exist. I mean, the energy is here. I agree with that. The energy force, the universal energy is here. And we all are part of that universal energy within this dimension. But there are five, ten dimensions that we can't even experience because of our limitations. Let's continue. Marjorie Taylor Greene doubled down on her conspiracy theory over the weekend, following up a baseless claim that the government can control the weather uh, with an assertion that such a scheme might involve lasers. So how do you oh, combat Lord. the crazy out there when the world is crazy. already dealing with the reality of climate change, which is crazy in itself? And what do you say to climate deniers? Well, I can just put out facts. I cannot fight delusions. I can't fight that sort of insanity. But I mean, just for example, to get a, uh, a feeling for the scope of what that claim means. Um, for example, Katrina, the, the power of Katrina was about the same as three million Hiroshima uh, atomic bombs worth of energy, right, and worth of destruction. So when you think that we essentially can sort of pull out of somewhere the equivalent of millions of Hiroshima bombs, you know, and, and direct that energy to create these events is so much beyond nonsense. I don't know how to describe um, the, the sort of lack of, of just basic fundamental understanding of the planet that that sort of demonstration <laughs> of your logic shows. I don't to have a, a remedy for uh, idiocy. I'm sorry, I just don't. Well, appreciate you trying. You <laughs> Elliot Jacobson, speak. thank you so much for talking with us. Uh, what, a, what a dumb question for her to ask this damn scientist about this woman, Margaret Martha, Margaret, whatever, whatever her name is. It's crazy. Why, why would she even ask him that? He don't want to entertain no foolishness like that. You don't have time for that. He's a freaking scientist, guys. Anyway, guys, I just want to show you that quick little video about about about, about that, uh, uh, about Milton, Hurricane Milton and all that good stuff, guys. All right, guys, that's it for that video, guys. Remember, guys, do what you can do for yourself. You can't control this system. You can't control this stuff, guys. You cannot control this. That's just the bottom line. You can't control it. So, anyway, at the end of the day, guys, you can all control yourself. Stop smoking. Stop drinking. Stop cursing. Stop acting a fool. Stop having unprotected sex. Stop being an idiot. Stop being stupid. Stop being retarded. Stop being foolish. Stop being an a-hole. Okay, guys? Those are the things that you can control. Everything else, all the climate stuff, you can't control it. Just don't be a negative idiot. Control that first. They ain't worried about freaking trying to control a hurricane. A hurricane that has the power of like five nuclear bombs, whatever he just said. I mean, come on, guys. Okay, guys. That's it, guys. Now, guys, remember, keep your life clean, keep your car clean, keep your body clean, keep your mind clean, keep your diet clean, guys. Drink plenty of spring water to flush out the toxins, and the chemicals, and the poison that's in the pesticides. I'm drinking me some spring water now. I ate some, some boiled eggs for my protein. I'm drinking some protein shake with whey protein. And, uh, guys, you just got to keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. I just want to show that with you guys real quick. Until next time, guys. Remember. Hold on, hold on. Until next time, guys. Download and deploy your anti malware software. Debug and unplug from the Matrix. I just got a screenshot so I can have me a thumbnail. Unplug from the Matrix. Guys, remember. I'm done. Contraband 777, I'm out. Conquer yourself. Go conquer yourself. I'm sorry. Bye.